Welcome everybody, Expedition 5 recap, Belly Button Cave, bonus type is water, 5-1 only requires a team total of 2,500, I'm already doubled that plus some, so let's go ahead and quickly get through this expedition. Damn, loading screen of dreams. Uh, keep it on auto. Yes, it's on auto. So, um, for those of you tuning in, I uh, have been recently creating episodes on all of the expeditions so you guys can kind of see them individually in their respective episodes in this YouTube channel, especially on the youtube.com slash for the Winitachi plays Pokemon Quest playlist. And um, for those of you that do like Pokemon Quest, leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And again, we will be going on to the Nintendo Switch once we have gotten back to Expeditions 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I uh, believe we got one more live stream after this, which would be Expedition 6. Unless a miracle happens during this uh, this uh, live stream and I get a lot of um, extra charges to my battery, which allows me to get into Expedition 6 today. But I don't think I see any, uh, I didn't see any quests that I have any near completion to get that. And I don't even see any quests that actually give me battery, battery life on this. So, that kind of sucks. Alright, so this one's almost done. Now, this expedition has the best defensive tank Pokemon in the game being Golem. Golem is the best tank currently in this game. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Golem. <clears throat> but, I mean, this game gives me a reason to use it. I've never used it in any of the Pokemon Generation games, but uh, Pokemon Quest does give you a reason to use Golem. Yes, it does beat Snorlax defensively. Yes, it does beat Chansey defensively. I mean, Licky Tongue is up there as one of the higher defensive Pokemons in Gen 1, and it does beat that one too. And, uh, yeah, but uh, currently, my defensive Pokemon or my defensive tank is a Cloyster. Interesting enough, I never thought about that, but Cloyster is an amazing tank as well, but not as good as Golem. Expedition 5, level 2, total of 2,800, click it and win it, because I've doubled the requirements for this, and this is going to be really easy for me to do. Alright, sweet, so... I have yet to see what Dazzling Gleam even looks like. So let me see that, please, Alakazam. That was Psycho Cut. That had to be Psycho Cut. I feel like they've made this game... I wonder if they're going to do upgrades to this game. Because so far, they've done no updates. Nothing really new. And if that's the case, that's going to suck. I'm pretty sure they will eventually do updates to this game, maybe. Because once I've completed all the main storyline, I'm going to be pretty much done. That's all I want to do, is complete the main storyline. I don't want to capture and raise and evolve every single Pokemon. I might do that, but I have a lot of other games that I could play and bring to the channel. But I'll try to create like the best team that I possibly can. And complete as much as I possibly can. But again, I'm pretty much aiming for complete all expeditions, beat the final boss, collect all the collectibles, and that's it. I'll finish off with like my main team, my main squad, like my top three Pokemon and Raichu. Raichu doesn't count, because Raichu is like, that's a collectible Pokemon to me. It's a limited edition surfing Pikachu that is rare that you can't get unless I think it's within the first 24 to 72 hours of starting the game. I had to pick it up. It was free, so. But yeah, if you guys want uh, surfing Pikachu and you've already played the game for longer than 72 hours, then you've... Well, you don't have to play the game. You, Whenever you started your account, that's when it starts. The first time you log in, that's when it starts. So, uh, if you want to get it, you're going to have to recreate your account. No! Don't die on me, Raichu. I'm actually trying to keep you alive here. Oh my gosh. Alakazam doing bits damage, though. 
He's the strongest attack your Pokemon in this game. Sadly, I don't have his strongest move. Well, actually, Psycho Cut is his strongest move, but Psychic overall does some nasty damage. As you can see, these two don't even take damage, really. Flareon's my tank in this one. It's only 137s back in the days. Alright, Expedition 5, level 3. Total of 3,300. Again, I mean, we have more than the boss in this one. Like, the boss is a like perfect, perfect challenge for me. It's 5,400 for the boss. I currently have a team total of 5,700. But then again, we have Flareon without a gem slot. An empty gem slot. And we also have Raichu on the team, which isn't my core. It's just with me so I can see if I can level it and get it some XP for the time being. Once this game gets a little bit too hard for Otto to start completing, then that's when we'll start bringing back the boy. My highest level Pokemon, besides the Sanshu that I just got from cooking. But that Sanshu is going to be used to level up some other, some other Pokemon. Don't know which one yet, because I don't really have any ground types. So the bonus of using them for leveling isn't going to be great. Damn, right, you actually got a kill. Kill and blow from Raich. That's sweet. Easy modes. But for those of you tuning in and you have seen my videos or you actually play Pokemon Quest, what has been your favorite expedition? I've only been able to adventure through 1 through 10 so far. So, I haven't completed 7 through 10, but you can. it's the same platform every single level. It's just... I mean, it's the same platform for the whole expedition. What has been your favorite expedition thus far? Mine, I believe, is 7. Whichever one that pink one is, it is so bright and vibrant. Not gonna lie, it is... I like it. I don't like the pink color, but just that color, though, it's pretty lit. I thought Onyx in this game would be pretty decent. It is, but it's, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's just not good. It's attack is it, it's it's like a mediocre Pokemon. It's like it, it's not bad, but it's not like gonna beat you the game. But it won't ruin it. That's pretty much Onyx. I thought he would be lit though. I always thought he would be a, an amazing Pokemon, but Brock being level one gym, ha being the first gym, having that Pokemon kind of made him like, oh, so you're not really that great. Damn, right, you getting some XP. Ooh, stone after stone after stone. Expedition 5, now level 4, jumping up a notch into 4,500 total team score to go ahead and complete. Again, I mean, you can probably complete this with a thousand less points, usually. That's like the giveaway, that's like the leeway. You can complete an expedition level. Up to a thousand points less than the requirement. So let's say it says it requires five thousand. You can probably have a team rating of four thousand and actually still complete it, even less, depending on your actual team comp. But that's just like it's kind of like the auto requirement, like the game being on auto to complete it for you. Should your team should be around that? Anything above auto should beat it. But the reason why I say give or take a thousand down below the actual score is because that's kind of what I had to do back in the day when I was playing this. But now I've, I've leveled up my Pokemon since I've been recapping so much and doing some cooking and collecting Pokemon over a course of a couple of weeks to use for leveling and uh, changing my movesets. That has helped a lot. And um, I've been playing this game, I'd probably say, for like three months now. But out of those three months, I probably played for like three, uh, one month of it. Two of the months I didn't play. Um, but that's just basically over time, and I play f once a day. You can play multiple times a day and recharge your battery and you're good to go. I only play once a day, so. And that's, so if I really take it into consideration, my total play time in this game is not even a day. Nowhere near it, actually. I hate, I hate flamethrowers so much. 
especially when the computer uses it and it's just like not in a good situation. But that psycho cut is a little bit good. I didn't know we had a face off against a Marowak. I don't remember that at all. Entry. Oh, okay, wait, never mind. I thought that was something else coming out. It was my Raichu. Raichu, you should be using Surf against a ground type. I don't even know if type. I know type advantages work in this. I know they do. Otherwise, they wouldn't give you bonuses. But my fire type against the ground type is like doing so much damage. That's how much I out level this. <clears throat> Sweet. Alright. Almost level 26. I believe cooking's done, so we're gonna go check that out now. Expedition 5, the final level, the boss level, and I still have a team rating that is higher than it. So let's get to it. 5400. Alright, sweet. So, this is the one that has probably been my most epic battle of all times against the Golem. My Shelter, before it evolved into Cloyster, my Shelter, it was probably the longest Pokemon Quest battle of all times. Shelter would not take damage, and Shelter would not do any damage. It was up to my dying Pokemon to hopefully get an attack or two out when they came back. I wonder how this is going to go now. Because I already have my Raichu gone. All I've got left is a fire type as well as my Alakazam. My Alakazam is going to do some bits, but kind of scared about my Flurry on here. Oof, the kills, that was quick, those quick maneuvers. Who here is looking forward to Pokemon Let's Go? And which one are you going to be getting? Eevee or Pikachu? I'm definitely, you already know what I'm going. Alright, what's funny is I have a Flareon and a Raichu on my team right now. Perfect. Perfecto. Kill the Doug Trio and we move on to the big bad wolf. That is the rock itself. Golem. Wow, that Doug Trio is pretty quick. Alright, here it goes. Deep center in the cave. The boy Golem. It's like the biggest freaking cube in the game, too. Alright, just get a surf off and go kill yourself. Oh my gosh, you didn't even get a surf off. Oh, okay, yeah. Alakazam's got this himself. He deals so much damage. Oh, damn. Alakazam, keep it up. Finish off those Geodudes. Look, look, Flareon, what are you doing, bro? Don't run in... Okay. You guys need to kind of stay away. You get a Surf off. Oh, my gosh. He's like, bro, sit back. Flareon, you're dumb. You either stay in melee range... Oh! <gasps> Alakazam, oh no, Alakazam died, what is this? I think, I, I think your boy needs to take over. I, it, it's, it's looking, oh no, oh no, I don't know whether to take over or not, I shouldn't have to. Okay, cool, oh wait, no, that's Raichu. Oh, we got a surf off. All right, Raichu getting the win. Not gonna lie, I don't think I can play with Raichu anymore. I'll give it a go in Expedition 6, but when I take that L, that's when it's over.